Bro, you see the title? No, it's in time. Man, let's get into it. Don't ever upload anything to Twitter if you want any semblance of a positive engagement because I just won't have burrito. Nigga. It's a cat, but a burrito is glistening like God right now. The cool thing about being autistic on the spectrum, ADHD, from a neurodivergence is that doesn't have a specific look. Uh, anybody can be any of these things. And that's not a, a hot take. That's actually the coldest take. That is a Mount Everest ass take, Appalachian Mountains ass take. Here's another hot take. Um, Not every joke is hilarious. Uh, sometimes jokes can just be all right and not super funny. You soon. Mm. A joke could literally be ass, but it it could be funny because of this goofball told it. Or a bad bitch, because I saw the thumbnail. That's why I was, I was intrigued. Why not? It's a pretty hot take with some of these. Am I happy with the wire? Am I happy with the wire? Am I happy with the people around me? This comedian posted a clip on Twitter from their comedy set joking about their gripes with being on the spectrum while looking conventionally attractive and people not really getting that. You know, people looking at them and going, hey, beautiful woman. Uh, you know, you want to get lit and fucked up, and she's like, uh, train. The unfortunate part is it was posted on Twitter, where regular videos in their original context were taken out and used as fuel for think pieces they did not consent to being a part of. If you post something on Twitter, uh, be ready for it to leave its original bubble and targeted audience to be a part of somebody else's point that you had no idea was being made. Well, I might as well post this joke on here too. That's why you fucked up, okay? I saw this tweet before it <laughs> happened. I was, I'm gonna give it like 12 hours. Being light skinned and thick will get you so far in life. Yeah, I mean, hey. Hey, man, come my way, bitch, dog. You feel me? Sky blue, trains run on train tracks, and I'm a Lance McLean stain. These things are all kind of obvious. Now, I know we like the bully light skin <laughs> because the damn light skin curse of 2012 to 2019 is over, and they actually have to work to bag their shit now. You know, dread heads up, curly heads down. But why are you <laughs> saying this? Because you had a couple laughs and some clout on a viral tweet. Damn, all the likes on the head. What? Because they told a joke and they happened to be thick and light skin. I don't ever want to come to bat for a light skin, but this was just unfairly like dropped on their head. This video this woman posted from her comedy set ended up being the topic of discussion uh, for colorism for the weekend. I guess the implication is that she doesn't deserve the vibe. Man, I hope she don't give a fuck with the talk, bro. Her of the likes. Uh, because just because she's pretty and, and thick and light skin. Which I think is kind of rude when in the, in the replies are like, clock it, clock that T, clock that T, sis, you know? People going on about how unfunny this shit is and about how they be laughing their ass off, you know, if they was in the front row just to get her number or some shit. When it, it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be like super hilarious. Like jokes can just be like, all right, you know, they don't gotta be like butt gustingly funny. And if one isn't, it isn't like the worst thing ever. I was fried and it wasn't even funny. Cool, uh, cool. Awesome. Y'all will look at you while already hating and tweeting about how you didn't laugh once as if a nigga is gonna tell a joke so funny it would change. The problem with being pretty with big, mm hmm. No one's going to tell her she's not fine. She's also, uh, You're no, right. no, big dog. I'm that type of nigga to literally say what the fuck I'm thinking. Don't matter if you're pretty or you dead. Well, obviously, if it's like it's like some important ass dude, I don't want to get deleted from the earth. But nah, dog. I'm one of them, them, them goofballs that literally like can literally make a like make fun of like a an attractive female. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say, man? Yeah, I don't really give a fuck, bro. Chemistry. She's joking about being in social scenarios where neurotypical people perceive her as neurotypical because she's conventionally attractive, and that's a gripe. And it's funny because the comments were filled with people just saying that she just wasn't autistic, <laughs> being like, "Oh, is the autism in the room with us right now?" I hate that. <laughs> I know. Just last week, I was talking about hating certain slang and terminology. <laughs> Ruin. There is the blank in the room with us right now. I hate that shit. I hate that to have appropriated that to use whenever it's not appropriate. It's like when this you pretty people. That shit don't fucking work. How the fuck you want to tell somebody else they're not autistic? What about her looks not autistic to you? Here's a hint. Nothing. Because you can't look autistic. But it's funny because you saw people who saw this joke or this video that she told where she's talking about being inherently invalidated in her identity and going, well, nobody's saying that shit about you. Nobody's saying you don't got autism. Right next to saying, oh, you don't have autism. You know, it's like if you scroll down a little bit, just like a little bit, just <sighs> once, you know. All Bro, I'm not a Twitter dude. Bro, I literally had, I think I had Twitter like two weeks, not two weeks ago. Bro, some weeks ago or literally a whole month ago. I was like, nah, bro. Because every time I click on my shit, I scroll. Yeah, you see some funny memes. If I'm there for the funny things. Two scrolls down. Corn. <sighs> okay, baby. Never mind. Scrolls again. Corn. Okay, okay. Scrolls again. Nigga got his... Uh, got, uh, see a whole grown-ass nigga with his ass out. He's gay, so there's no problem with that. But it's like, bro, for me, it's like... 
I'm not trying to see that, bro. I just came on the app. This line is kind of weird. I came on the app just to see memes, bro, or funny things. I'm like, you know what, bro? Fuck this shit, bro. And it's like this thing of like, the next day you wake up, bro. You're not even on some horny vibing or horny times. I went to Twitter. I, I I'm new to. I didn't like. I haven't been on Twitter for years. I see there's like new v like voice chats or whatever, like a whole like voice chat group, like how do I put this, like Discord type of thing. I click on it. I see niggas that I follow, like streamers that I follow, or like a lot of I see a lot of random ass niggas. Like damn, they they to be not me, might be poppy. I'm I'm sure y'all saw this. Two minutes later, the host or the owner of that uh, VC or or whatever voice chat. It's playing. Like, I hear, like, it's playing an audio of moanings. I'm like, what the hell am I, what the hell did I got myself into? Instantly deleted that, that app, bro. All of your answers Fuck would me. have been there, but Twitter's the only place where cognitive dissonance can just coexist uh, with ignorance and not be checked at all, ever. Hypocrisy doesn't matter when they think that they can tweet something and it just doesn't exist like a week later. She retold a scenario about a coming up to her while she at the club, assuming that she's just a neurotypical bad bitch, not an autistic baddie. Truthfully, I don't know what the f*** you're doing at the club uh, if this whole environment makes you uncomfortable and you just want to sit and play with the rocks in your pocket. I don't know why the f*** you're there, but I don't make a joke. This scenario happens a lot, though. So just assume that women aren't virgins or aren't autistic or aren't promiscuous based on the shit that they got on. But this is a thing. She's right. The fact that there's like a perceived look for autism or neurodivergence is that's the point of her joke. But the misconstruing it because Nick love doing that on Twitter, you know, posting on who said light skins with big, with big dimples couldn't be nurses. Light skins can't get pregnant. Oh, shut the f up. And they're posting like those same type of memes as if it's like a. Bro, it's like. Well, it is Friday, so understandable why that goofball making all this noise in this bro this is the problem of living next to the streets because you can you li literally hear everything you trying to have a nice sleep goofballs with yeah the same way they i'll be having niggas with hondas at fucking 3 a.m just making loud noises with their cars <sighs> even over here and the problem is when you stay next to the streets like next to the, like the main road, I don't know, the road, bro. Gotcha. As if it's like, oh, this is what she's doing right now. When no, she's very clearly saying that people invalidate her. And people are saying that doesn't happen, followed by people also invalidating her. And the same threat. I know a lot of conventionally attractive neurodivergent people. Kyrus, if you're watching this, hi. Cat, if you're watching this, you're a fucking insane person. Ethan. I love you. The fuck that was bullshit. What was I talking about? Hey, who said tatted up redhead dreadheads couldn't make all right YouTube videos? Speaking of tats, uh, look at my new cat. Meow. It's a fish. Look at this guy. Uh, yeah, I did it. I'm him. I'm the goat. First YouTuber to get the. Mm, you better not uh huh huh record that little that tab. Autism what? creature tatted. You know, this autism shit. Real. Speaking of autism, this, this autism shit real. I just hate that they're trying to make the point as if. Am I okay? It's gonna sound weird, but I don't give a fuck. Why do I feel as if now it's a trend to say you're autistic? No, it's that autism in there. It's like even in the comments, like if a person do some stupid shit, oh, the person got to be autistic. Like, damn, why is it trending now to be autistic? She's acting like people are invalidating her when they aren't, when they literally are like right in front of you. There are people denying the fact that she's autistic, which uh, funny or not, uh, is proving her point. Clock it, clock the T, sis, clock it, clock that shit. My fucking clock in. Nigga. Rent is due. Look at my AV unit one Tamadachi. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Goofball, stop getting distracted. Nigga out here look like doing Dante activities. Crisscross. She's saying real as f though. Like, I got niggas flying up in my DMs not knowing that I make YouTube videos about hating driving and not knowing how to drive. That's different now. Okay, that's different. I can drive now. Uh, ask Ariana. I drove her around all around New Orleans when she came down here. First quarter two, if you know about that shit, you know it get deadly around here. It get wicked. You just don't relate to what she's saying. It's also really funny because this account that made this tweet and had a whole sort of closing thesis about colorism when they were getting cooked made tweets from the same year that are still up talking about liking light skinned niggas, but dissing like consistently dissing light skinned women. You so mad I like light skinned. Niggas. You wish you was a light skinned. Niggas. I'm 
so confused. <laughs> What's with all the light skinned men slander? I love it. <laughs> Someone says, Me and the light skinned <laughs> ain't got nothing to talk about. And she quote tweets saying, Me and the light skinned <laughs> got everything to talk about. Th this ain't even like, Oh, light skinned <laughs> cool. This is like, I want to fuck you if you're a light skinned. <laughs> the amount of singers that are only famous due to light skinned privilege. This is quote tweeting a tweet talking about Georgia Smith, uh, the woman who has been scrutinized for uh, months at this point for gaining like 30 pounds because apparently that's just abnormal when women do it but i huh. forget you know not all groups are monolith you know not everybody's on the same team sometimes other women can just not like women that was like like a month ago we, we can see those you know that right we can see those tweets you got all the pro-black you know comments not knowing the lights on but only for half of the house and you ain't even up in that bitch. how the f are you talking about colorism but going nah nah you can't stop me from liking light skin is on a whole lot of nothing you can usually see how cooked somebody is on twitter of what their replies if when you go on their account after they got a tweet that had them get flamed they go on tweeting about why are they still whatever oh fucking stay mad oh they start talking about the fucking weather be getting cooked six ways from sunday on fucking twitter and then they go to their account tweeting some random shit like they ain't getting fucking roasted alive wonder what i want to eat today you're cooked people are just so mean-spirited and give their unnecessary uninspired takes on my like, damn man we can't even support each other these days man Damn, COVID did a, did a, did a number on the humanity, man. A situation that does not require them. Because now Twitter's... That vaccine did something. ...decided that this <laughs> video is a topic for discussion. Now you got these viral fucking rent dude Twitter blue ass <laughs> being like, you know what, this one, I don't know if I like her. I don't know if I'm, if I'm attracted to her. Don't kill me, but this is too big for me. I don't know this goofball, but put it, put it in a scenario like this. We find out that the, the owner of that account, uh, this goofball who made this tweet, he's like, I could say, how do I put this? He can handle that. And then the skinny niggas like us, that, you feel me, love this. Like, damn, sometimes, I don't know, bro. I be having like, it's not like, I don't know, bro. I don't know what I'm trying to get at, but it's like, damn. What the fuck? It's kind of... I like it doesn't make sense how to put it. It doesn't make sense when like buff ass niggas like skinny females. Like bro, you you do all your lifting for me, meaning you can lift anything. You you if you try you forget my drift. Not saying there's a problem with like skinny girls or whatever. I don't know, bro. It's, it's just I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like when you a buff ass nigga, you can literally lift anything, but you can say like you can you be out here saying I cannot lift that or I cannot lift her up this and that. Uh, that's too big for me this and that. And while the skinny niggas like us, literally, we love that. That's me. I don't know. It's just weird, man. And fascinating at the same time. I don't know if, if me, if you didn't know, if you guys wanted to know, I don't think I'm attracted to her. Too big for me. And then we get into fat phobia. And then now, though, so who's the more progressive? You know, can I argue if this is more fat phobic than it is colorist? Can I argue if she's benefiting from colorism or suffering from fat phobia and misogyny? Oh, shut. Just shut up. Just shut up. Hey, man, I don't like some thick females. Hey, man, bring, to, bring them to me and my brothers, man. Either you find it funny or you don't. This woman should not have to post on Twitter proving that she has autism. All of you need to clock in. There is still time to register for classes next semester. You got this, okay? You got this. Yeah, hey, big dog. I'm not going to school, bro. Yeah. I went like one week to college. Depression. I'm good. Just dog. remember, kids, just because you're getting cooked on Twitter. That Fill up a job application. Uh, Well... The way y'all be putting it like like it's some simple thing or you, you just, like you just fill up a job application and you just get a job it's not easy like that especially over here i'm telling you bro over here you need connections and people you got to be knowing people to get a, a job and at the same time it's like you're just getting you're just people be saying just get a job get a job you get like the only jobs that are could, could be available are not good jobs you can literally say you could literally just go to work and get paid the money like you could literally just work for for the transport money like literally that's it like you don't like you don't earn nothing like you literally working for the transport money bro like come on man doesn't huh? mean that you're wrong the english is running out because it's about to be nighttime and i don't like doing directions at nighttime sometimes the ratio is used unjustly buy my merch uh follow me on soundcloud uh i'll be in momocon uh in a month any mutuals that want to link uh we can do that if you're not hmm. i think the video is done I'm saying all these people more. You'll have to excuse my um still recovering from that then. Um, but Yeah, I'ma see you on the next video, bro. I gotta go. Cool.
Call me Mess Cause I'm a flip the best